friends. I'm really glad you've joined me today. I've been waiting all week to get to be with you again. Do you ever have to wait for something? Like wait for dinner to be ready so you can eat? That can be hard if you're feeling hungry. Or in my house, it's hard to wait for a new Lego Masters episode. What about waiting for someone to get home? Or for something exciting to happen, like your birthday? Birthdays can be hard to wait for, huh? This week, we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving. And then next week, we'll begin the four weeks before Christmas that we call Advent. Advent is a time of waiting. Do you remember what we're waiting for? Yep. Advent is the time we remember how God's people waited a very long time for the Messiah to save them. And it's also a time that we wait for the day we celebrate the birth of Jesus, who saved us from sin and death and showed us how to love others as God loves. I don't know about you, but I love Christmas. I get so excited about Christmas. It's so hard to wait for it. Today we have a story about the day Mary realized something, that she and all the people of God had been waiting for a very, very long time, that it was about to happen. And guess what? It kind of means that we get to start learning our Christmas story this week, a week early. I'm so excited, wow. But before I tell you our story, let's set our special symbols. We remember that we believe in God the Creator, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the three symbols make one triangle. And what's in the middle of the triangle? That's right, love. Love holds the Trinity together and love holds us together, even when we're not right beside each other. Okay, I think we're ready to tell our story. In the city of Nazareth in Galilee, there lived a young woman named Mary. And Mary was soon to be married to a carpenter named Joseph. One day, Gabriel, an angel, visited Mary and said, Greetings, Mary. God is so very happy with you. Do not be afraid. God has chosen you out of all women. Very soon you will have a baby and you must call him Jesus. The angel said Jesus would be a very special baby. He would be great and his kingdom would last forever and ever. He told her that the child would be called the Son of God. And then the angel said something like, See, nothing is impossible with God. And Mary said, yes, I see. I am the Lord's servant and I want what the Lord has said. And then later on, Mary wrote a song, a wonderful song that expressed her excitement for God, for this news. It was a lot like Mary just needed to say to God, wow, wow, I'm bursting with God news. I am going to be the mother of Jesus, the son of God. Wow, what God has done for me will never be forgotten. Wow, God is doing something so great for all of God's people. The poor, the hungry, the weak, they're all going to get a special place at the feast with the Lord. Wow, God has not forgotten his promise to his people. It's exactly what he promised, beginning all the way back with Abraham and all the way up until now. You know, all those wows were turned into a beautiful song and all of that song was really turned into a beautiful prayer to God. Wow is a great way to start a prayer, don't you think? God the Son, coming to be born as a baby, to be God with us, is such good God news. I just can't help but say, wow, how about you? While we wait for Christmas, while we wait to celebrate the birth of Jesus, I wonder what things you can say wow to God for. What exciting God news do you have? Or what exciting God news are you just bursting to talk about? How will you turn all your wows into prayers? Friends, I'm really so thankful for you. When I thank God for you, it often goes like this. Wow, God, 
Thank you for letting me learn and grow with all of these wonderful children. They are all such blessings to me. Friends, we love you. We'll see you next time. Bye.